Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna create my own custom runner to be able to replace the two runners that you just saw on the floor so I can span the entire width of my family room. Now I have several animals in the house and they love to run up and down this space since it's so long and that's perfectly fine except of course anytime they hit the wood part of the floor they don't have any traction. In particular I have an older dog who sometimes slips and falls on this area so to provide more safety for my animals I'm going to create my own custom piece with a scrap piece of carpet and replace these two runners here. Now I could go buy a single runner that could do this job but it would be quite expensive because of the overall width that I would have to be to, or length I should say, to go this long in the family room. So I'm gonna create my own and show you how to do it. The runner can be made in three easy steps. Now step one will be cutting the carpet down the middle lengthwise. This will get me two pieces which will be long enough to span the entire length of the family room. Now the first part of this step will be easier if you can identify a factory edge cut. That's typically going to be the straightest cut on the carpet. So in my situation, I believe this is a factory edge cut over here. I'm not 100% positive, but it's definitely the straightest looking cut on the carpet. Both ends are not factory edge cuts, and this one is definitely not a factory edge cut. It's just way too unstraight. So I'm going to take all of my measurements for cutting the carpet off of this edge. Now this step will be the hardest step of the entire process because I need to make sure that this cut is as uh, straight as possible because of course that will affect how the whole carpet looks in the end. Now ideally I would just cut this carpet directly in half but since this edge is not very straight I want to clean that edge up so I need to leave enough carpet to be able to cut that edge off. So I'm going to cut this carpet at 23 and a quarter inches that will leave roughly a quarter to a half inch on this edge, which I can then cut off to get a straighter edge and hopefully a better looking carpet at the end. All right, so after measuring again, I decided to go with 23 and a half inches. That will be my overall width of my carpet when I'm done cutting. That will leave me half an inch on this edge when I'm done, which I can cut off to straighten it up. So as I move along, I'm gonna use my straight edge on the carpet, making sure that this edge is straight with that uh, straight end. So if you had that factory edge cut, this is where I would put it. And then I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to align it and make sure it's going straight across by touching the edge of my square here. All right now, of course, you could just use your tape measure, but there's always that possibility that you're just slightly off and that may not seem like a big deal, but over the whole length of this, that tiny bit off, just a little bit crooked, is just gonna shift that line a little bit as you go across, and I wanna be as straight as possible. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be a little more anal about my marks here, and just go a little more in depth with making my measurements. After I get several measurements at 23 and a half, I'll come back with my straight edge here, and then mark along the entire route. A little tip if you do this, use an ultra fine point sharpie, you'll get a much thinner line. If you use a normal tip sharpie, you're gonna end up with a very thick line and when you go to cut that, it's gonna be pretty imprecise when you're done. Okay, I am now ready to cut. To cut the carpet, I'm gonna be using a pair of carpet cutting scissors. I find this gives me the smoothest and cleanest cut. If you don't have a pair of these, you could use just a, uh, a straight knife, a safety knife, um, but I find that you tend to have to run the knife over the uh, cut multiple times to be able to cleanly cut through the carpet. So scissors are the easiest in my opinion.
Okay, so I'm now ready for step two, which will be taping my two pieces carpet together. So I've already squared up both edges here and I've got my carpet tape and this does not require any ironing. It's uh, no heat required. So we're gonna put it underneath, peel back the plastic, press the carpet down onto it and then essentially walk along the surface a little bit to stick the carpet down to the glue material here on the tape. I'm now ready for the third and final step, which is binding the carpet edges. So I've already done a video on how to bind carpet edges with this system using InstaBind. So I'm not gonna go into detail on this. You can check out that video. I'll put a link here in the video so you can see that if you want an in-depth explanation of how to go over this. But I will show you just how to do it so you can see the process. guys the runner is now complete now this was a very easy project to do so if you guys liked it please give me a thumbs up click that subscribe button and i'll see you next time on the diy grunt